this is Pat Bamber here for PSP Sports. We're at the York Hall Show here today for Matchroom. Uh, with me, I've got trainer of Joe Ball, Mr. Jim McGovern. How are you doing, Jimmy, mate? All good, my man. All good. Good, good. Firstly, speak to you about uh, Joe Ball's uh, comeback victory there. Box very, very well. Going out in the first round. How would you assess it? Yeah, I, I think when, when you come back from adversity, it's how you respond mentally. And I think Jake ticks all the boxes. So he's a class act, he's a good fighter. He had a little blip. But he dealt with it superb, and that shows a lot of mental strength. That shows how far he can go in this sport. He's got all the skills, all the skills. He needs experience, but mentally he's a very tough kid. And I was really proud of him tonight. So hats off, yeah, good performance. So, Jimmy, in your opinion, in your, in your opinion from that night, uh, back back in the back in November, um, what do you think went wrong actually for Jake back then? I just think like you look through all the guys' careers. A good friend of mine, Doug McKenzie, went on to win four worlds at different weights. He got stopped in his first ever contest. Lennox Lewis got stopped. Frank Bruno got stopped. Yeah. Like Charlie Mankwe got stopped. All these guys want to be world champions. It's, you're, in, you're in the hurt business. Yeah. It's, a, it's a tough game. Jay Ball just got stopped, but he's back on the comeback trail. So looks really well tonight. And uh, onwards and upwards. So it's a few people going past there. There we go. So Jimmy, in terms of what you saw tonight, any anything that you notified in particular, you done very well. And are you going to work on anything in the gym now moving forward? Yeah, I mean, as the fight would have unfolded, you'd have seen a lot of stuff that's been corrected, especially his mind. And I think tonight it showed. He picked his shots; that was good shots. Defensively, he was very good as well, very smart. Showed a lot of that because you've got to walk back out and prove yourself, not just talk about it. So he's talked the talk and walked the walk. So he's back. Additionally, uh, Jimmy, we've also got I know Reese Blotty's fighting late, later as well. Um, how's how's recent mindset at the moment? Yeah, Reese Blotty's um, he's a precocious talent. He's um, he's a two-time ABA champion. Got tremendous boxing skills. Hunted very very hard for 57 kilo fire for a nine stone fire. Um, so he's he's got all the attributes to, to go to, to go all the way in this sport. Finally, Jimmy. Um, James the girl, any, any updates from him at the moment? Yeah, James has just started back training now, so we've, um, he's not back in the gym yet, but we're back on the road, we're back on the track doing his stuff. So we're just waiting for things to be put together and then um, we'll find out when, but um, won't be too long, I'm sure. And any updates on potential fights for, for James at the moment? Yeah, I think all the fights are out there. I think um, you know, he's champion of the world, so everyone's calling him out. So just a matter of um, Eddie doing his stuff, sitting down with James and sorting out who they want to do, but James will fight anyone. Jim McDonald, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it, mate, and all the best for Reese Bloody. Appreciate it, my friend. Thank you. Thank you.